Hello ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in and for joining the Controversy 7 once again. I'm going to be upfront with all of you. This video is going to cause many of you to have headaches. It's going to cause many of you to be confused at first and I understand that. I too was confused when I came across this study. Everything that we have been told has been a lie. NASA, with all the other professional buffoons, all they've done is simply dug their own graves. Now, their mistakes, their reputations are catching up to them and they are being busted and they are being exposed for what they are. A bunch of professional lives. That's all they are. They will look at you right in the eye, keep a straight face and lie to you and tell you that this lie is the truth. And because they are professionals, you are going to buy into their nonsense. Now, I'm going to be doing a lot more of these kinds of videos just to clarify a lot of claims which I'm going to be making. The first thing I'm going to tell you right now is that the map of the world, where the continents are, they are not where they seem. Let's examine the actual map of the world which was actually made in 1892 and this was to be the standard map of the world. And although this map this standard map of the world was to be the one that is used worldwide and publicly. This is the very map which was hidden away from the public. And guess who still uses this map even until today? That's right, NASA. They use that same map. And to add to the twist, guess which other organization also uses this same map? That's right, the United Nations. This can be seen clearly and evidently when looking at the United Nations flag. You can see that right in front of you. This is the exact same transparent map that you are looking at. Only difference is it is placed now on the United Nations flag. You see it. Antarctica is even revealed in this map. Antarctica is even revealed in this map. The only difference is it cannot be seen on the exact same location as when you are looking at the maps which they are giving to us which is full of nonsense. Look at this map and I want you to examine it carefully. When you observe this thing ladies and gentlemen the first thing that should come to your mind is this. Why does it seem like all the continents of the world seem to be on the same plane in relation to one another? Well, the answer is simple. It's because they are on the same plane. Again, I'm going to repeat it so you understand what I'm saying. The reason why you're seeing the continents as they are according to this map is because the continents of the world are on the same terrestrial plane. The other question that you should be asking also is, okay, if this is the map of the world, then the question is, where is Antarctica? Well, many of you may ask that question because when you look at the freaking globe model that you're looking right there which really ticks me off when I look at it now, this pathetic globe model that you're looking which they tell you that this is where you live in, that this is your whole existence is in that small marble, this nonsense of a marble that they gave to you. When you look at that, they tell you this is Antarctica right there, that small ice land that you're looking at over there. Pathetic. This is not even where you live. This is not anywhere close to our home. This is not home. This is not Earth. What you're looking at? That is simply a computer composite by NASA. They created that nonsense of a globe model to tell you this is where you live and there's nothing peculiar about the human race, nothing special about you. They created that stupid model just to be able to make the nonsense of evolutionary theory seem legitimate. Okay, let's just go and look at the map and stick to locating Antarctica. I think we'll do good with that and I will try not to go on a rant against those stupid people. I really hate NASA to the point where all of the things that they have been feeding us, the lies that they've actually perpetrated and brought in front of people, 
this organization which calls itself the space agency they need to get like shut down period nothing that comes out from their stupid mouths can be trusted they give you a bunch of theories nonsense of theories that don't even fit with our existence and they tell you this is the facts and they give you numbers which the human mind cannot be able to picture and because many people cannot be able to comprehend these things they automatically say hey because these experts said it then that is good enough for me because I trust the experts because they know what they're doing and because they are experts what they tell me I will accept and not ever question what they are telling you. Okay, let's go and look at the map again. And this time, I promise you, I'm not going to lose control of myself. When we look at the map, what we are seeing, ladies and gentlemen, is that surrounding the continents is Antarctica. Antarctica is the one that surrounds the Earth. The continents of the Earth, it's all shielded in by the ice walls of Antarctica. And Antarctica is the one that surrounds the Earth. This is the circle of the Earth. What you're seeing is Antarctica, that surrounding, that is Antarctica. Also, what you need to understand is that there are no actual flight routes that go below the equator. And here's a perfect example for you. Let's examine the globe model and let us flatten the globe model and see it according to how pilots see it. So let's say now for argument's sake, you want to travel from Chile all the way to Cape Town or South Africa. Would it not make sense to just take the flight from South America and travel across the ocean to Cape Town or to South Africa? Because that would be a much quicker distance and shorter distance to travel rather than to go from South America all the way to Europe and then from Europe make your way all the way down all the way across the continent of Africa until you reach South Africa. Why would they do that? It does not make sense if we are looking at this from the globe perspective because the globe does not make sense with the flight routes. However, when we switch gears and let's look at the other map which shows everything on the same plane, the same flat earth map, when we see this same flight route, it actually makes more sense that it travels that way because that is the only path that planes can travel to get from South America to South Africa. Observe what you are seeing right now because that is the only path that they can be able to travel without burning off. They have no other choice but to travel in that same route because that is the only option that they have. This standard map of the world also depicts and explains the path on which the sun travels around the earth. And listen to this, with regards to the sun's movement, the June solstice, it says in the figures June and December, the white represents, and that's the, the above image that you're seeing, it says the white represents the sun's position in his perspective months at noon. This shows sunlight inside the Arctic Circle for 24 hours. From June 1st, the sun moves round the tropics in a spiral circle, widening every day until it reaches its destiny on the southern or outer solstice on December 21st. It describes the December solstice. Listen to these words. It says, and I quote, On December 21st, the sun moves round the Tropic of Capricorn, and during the day, it lights up the southern portion of the Earth from the Arctic Circle to some portion of Antarctic ice. There is no, quote-unquote, sunlight beyond 80 degrees south but unknown regions of ice. On the 23rd of December, the sun commences his northward journey again, returning to his starting place, and thus completes his seasons. Does this not explain why people can see the sun never set when they are in the Arctic Circle? 
when you go to the Arctic Circle, the sun never sets. The sun goes for a whole 24 hours and you see it even at night, at midnight, midnight hour comes, the sun is still there. Question, where is north, east, south and west? Well, the answer is very simple, it's right in front of you as well. If you observe this map, you will see that geographic north always points to the center of the Arctic Circle. Wherever you are on Earth, geographic north will always point you to the center of the Arctic Circle. And likewise, south will always point you to the ice walls of the Circle of Antarctica. And it will also be wise for you to make note that the star, the brightest star known as Polaris, the North Star, the bright North Star, which never moves, it remains at the same position day after day, month after month, year after year, for millennia. This North Star has remained the same. Guess where its location is? That's right, it's right in the exact same center of the Earth, right above the Arctic Circle, that is where the North Star is. Anyways, that is something that I'm talking on another video. I don't want to give you too many things all at once because I know what this can do to people. This can put people in a state of confusion. And I don't want to put you already in a state of confusion more than you probably may, may be at the moment because there are many people, many students who are in school and they are learning about this globe model saying this is Earth and you live on this Earth. It's a marble, it's round, it spins at a thousand miles per hour plus. But wait, that's not all. Because you also spin at thousands and thousands of miles per hour around the sun. The sun is the center of our existence. The sun is the center of everything and all of that nonsense and garbage is being given to people. It's being fed to you. And I can't believe that I also fell for this deception. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, we have been lied to on so many occasions and we did not question these things thus far we know for a fact for a given fact for a known fact that human beings have never left low orbit human beings have never gone far enough high enough above the earth to take a good image of what the earth really looks like human beings cannot be able to go past a certain point that will be explained in another video all I can tell you is that the Bible has gone through the test of time and today I can tell you that the Bible has passed the test of time and all of the lies that we have been told by NASA and the scientific community which keeps feeding us lies about our very existence telling us that we are nothing special that, and telling us that we simply evolved as freaks of nature who came from animals and we evolved and we have no purpose in life. All of this nonsense. Today I can tell you that all of their lies are being exposed and it's all being brought forth. They have been doing this on purpose. Telling us all of these lies on purpose for one reason. And that is to hide God away from us. And that is also to hide the truth of our existence away from our minds. Anyone who does not want you to know of the truth and the facts about God, they are ultimately acting as agents of devils. Nothing coming out from NASA is truth. Do not believe any nonsense that you hear coming out from them. And that whole thing about them going to Mars, in fact, for those of you who actually think that they have curiosity which landed on Mars, I put quote unquote landed on Mars, that's impossible. That is not real. It never happened. They don't have a rover on Mars. That is something that will never ever happen. And the nonsense of Mars 1, this so-called trip that they're going to send humans to Mars, that's something that will never happen. If the moon landing never happened and we never landed on the moon, what makes you think that we can be able to take another step further than this? If we could not even be able to go high enough outside of the Earth's low orbit, how can we be able to go far as far as Mars if we do not even have the technology to be able to go outside beyond the Van Allen radiation belt? And let's say, let's just say for argument's sake that we did manage to break through that. Guess what? There is still the firmament. 
No human technology can go beyond the firmament. And speaking of the firmament, are you aware that they've actually come across an invisible shield that's just over 7,000 miles above the Earth's atmosphere? That is something that they cannot be able to breach. Put that into perspective, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, I told you that NASA has dug its own grave. And all the lies that they have been telling us, all of these things are being brought to the light. And all of these things are being exposed. All the nonsense of theories and all the nonsense of lies that they have fed us, all these things are going to be exposed. Nothing is going to be remaining in the shadows. So ladies and gentlemen, if you found this video helpful, please pass this information around. The link to that map will be in the video description box. So you can go ahead and check that out for yourselves. If this is your first time tuning into the Controversy 7 and this is the very first video that you're watching for the very first time, I want you to know I got plenty of videos on my channel. So feel free to subscribe and also join me on Facebook. My Facebook fan page link is in the video description box. My website is thecontroversy7.ca. So go and check out my website. I got some cool stuff there from soundtracks to different kinds of things. So feel free to go and browse on my website there. If you got any questions, feel free to contact me. Best way to get hold of me is the phone number that I have available there. That is the quickest way to get hold of me. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, you take care of yourselves and stay safe as always.